We've been founded uh, 2015, so, so it's actually only five years since four very entrepreneurial, visionary founders came together and said, what if we can create almost like an entirely new mode of transportation? What if we can take the best of both worlds, of uh, maglev trains, but also of aviation, and then create electric flying? But electric flying with, with an aircraft that can take off and land vertically and then uh, do the whole stretch in between. So in five years, lots of things have happened. It started from four people now. Uh, we we're more than 300 people growing very, very fast um, every month. Uh, we built an en entire engineering team that is working on this vision of, of, of transforming how we can move in the world. And we're excited about seeing a whole industry gaining speed and gaining steam. Right? So, so we're not alone. Um, in this and, and we believe lots of our uh, competitors we, we all work towards that goal right? so, so one of the things that why by now why it becomes uh, prominent is we're starting to see the, the fruits as well of all of this investment so of course we started five years ago others have started years ago but there's also lots of new players that are coming in that are seeing like it is fundamentally possible to transport people over distances purely electric using vertical landing and uh, takeoff and landing. And we've been working from day one with the relevant authorities. So you have authorities in Europe, you have authorities in each country that are in charge of the airspace, that are in charge of what it actually means to, to create uh, an aircraft. So, so this is something we've been uh, working from day one. Now, the other thing you've got to remember is we have a pilot in the aircraft. So that means we're much more like an aircraft to the regulator than, than anything else. And, and aircraft are flying around uh, over our skies all the time. So, so from a sort of regulator's perspective, we fit very well into actually a pre-existing condition. Uh, we work with them on a number of different areas, such as air traffic management, such as the operations at how do we make it better? How do we uh, potentially change a few things and adapt a few things uh, of how it's been done in the past and how you can do it differently in the future? Because after all, it is going to be fully electric. It has um, very different um, uh, sort of safety pro uh, properties and so on. So there's a number of um, differences, but there's a lot of similarities. So, so from the regulators, what we typically see is an incredibly strong interaction and, and motivated to, to work together with us. So, so why does it matter for, for cities? And, and, and here the point is you don't have to imagine that you travel necessarily within a city and, and, and you get on a taxi to fly a kilometer to, to fly on the other side of the city. But it's much more about connecting cities and connecting uh, entire regions in a way that we haven't seen before. So to think from here to, to Manchester, you can do that in, in 45 minutes, uh, but you can also do it to, to Bristol or um, uh, to any other city for, for that matter in, in a radius of 300 kilometers.